Hey guys, what's up? It's Warren here back with another video. Today I'll be showing you guys my top 10 best exposed modules of 2016. Just two days back, I made a video on how to install exposed framework. It's pretty much same for every Android phone. So without any further ado, let's get started. Let's start our list with Boot Manager. Boot Manager is an exposed module which lets you choose some apps which are not to be executed during the boot up of your phone. By selecting some essential apps, you can increase your Android boot type and speed up your system. The free version of module lets you only select some user apps but the premium version of module lets you select system apps also. Next up on our list we have WPNP. You might have heard of this app but with exposed framework. You can cast any audio from your phone to your PC or laptop, like from any third party music player like Savan or Spotify, etc. It's a very good streaming app. Coming up third on our list, we have Fingerprint Quick Action. With this exposed module, you can perform different actions with your fingerprint sensor, like on single tap to go home or fast swipe action to expand quick settings and it is very easy to use. You can also set double tap action to expand quick settings or any other action. As I have kept double tap action to show recent apps. And as always, all the links to these exposed modules will be in the description down below. Don't forget to check them out. Next up we have Greenify. I know it's old, but it offers such a great function, I couldn't exclude it from my list. To use this an exposed module, first jump into the settings and select working mode as boost. With this module, you can also Greenify some system apps. Though I wouldn't suggest you to hyperlink system apps, but if you want, you can also do that. If you don't know what Greenify is, it is an exposed module which can hibernate your apps in order to give your system some more speed. Coming on number 5th, we have iFont. It is a must have module for those who want to customize their font style in Android. In Samsung mobiles, you get a default mode to change your font. But in other mobiles, if you want to change your font, you have to download this module. It's very easy to use. You can select from number of fonts and just download it and set it. They are also available in different languages. Next up we have one tap video downloader. You can download this module from play store. This module lets you to download videos from any site or app. For example, if you want to download any particular video from YouTube, just open YouTube app and play the video you want to download and you will get a notification to download that video. Just click on the notification and select the video quality you want and the video will be downloaded automatically. The multi-window feature was only released for Android 7 and 7.1 but with this module you can use multi-window feature in your Android running lower version like Marshmallow or Lollipop. Just activate the module and go to XHFW3 application and go to whitelist and select the application you want to run in multi-window mode. And that's it. The next time you open the application, it will run in multi-window mode. You can select all applications like system applications, user application and every single application. Now I will show you a quick demonstration of this app. As you can see if I open chrome, a window is opened here. You can move that window around. You can also resize it as per your needs. Cool right? Now if I open another application that is where listed in the module, it will also open in the form of a window. Like I have white listed whatsapp. Now if I open whatsapp. You can see it has opened like a window and again you can resize it as per your needs. As you can see I am able to run both applications at the same time. Sometimes ads in YouTube videos get annoying. This is where our next module comes in. This module removes all the ads from YouTube videos which are being played from your mobile app. And again this video is only for educational purpose. Next up on our list we have this cool module named WhatsApp extensions. This module has different functions like hide last scene, hide camera button and many more. 
While you're chatting to someone, if you click on these three dots, you can get a number of functions. Like if you hit on call, it calls through your default dialer. How cool is that? You can also hide a conversation or you can also password protect a particular conversation while the other app locks the whole application. You can also set custom wallpaper for some conversation you want. Well that were my 10 best expose module of 2016. Wait, I have a bonus expose module for MIUI users. It's called XMIUI. Well the popular apps like Gravity Box don't work on MIUI. But the XMIUI is more than that, you can customize everything of your MIUI ROM. Like system UI, lock screen, phone or contacts, volume, etc. If you want to make me a different video on XMIUI, then feel free to let me know by the comment section down below. For example, if you just want to add a navigation bar, you just go to hardware settings and click on show navigation bar and apply the settings. Now you can see I have a navigation bar. You don't need any type of command for this one. Now if you want to remove that navigation bar, just go to into hardware settings and click on hide navigation bar and that's it, apply the settings, your navigation bar will be hidden. That's it for this video guys, subscribe to this channel for more videos like this one. If you like this video then don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up. If you have some exposed module which are your favorite then do let me know in the comment section down below. And I will see you in my next video.